I built this deadlift platform for my small home gym several years ago, and I regret it. Size for my dum dum cutting, it's a nice platform. It protects my floors, so what don't I like about it? In a sentence, it's an inefficient one trick pony. And I'd rather have a raging stallion with a saddlebag full of tricks. How about you? If you have a home gym and want to be able to deadlift without destroying your floors or selling a kidney to buy bumper plates and want to get the best bang for your dollar and your space, let me tell you what I wish I would have known before I built this. Instead of a deadlift platform like this with a plywood top, I highly suggest this. Just cover the whole top in rubber. One or two sheets of three quarter inch thick, four by eight plywood or OSB covered entirely on the top with three quarter inch rubber horse stall mats. No plywood. That's it. But, 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 but. Doesn't it need to have a plywood top to be an official deadlift platform? Check this out. Eddie Hall pulling 500 kilograms off the floor to set a world record on a rubber surface. And here's Half Thor beating Eddie's record by one kilogram on a rogue rubber deadlift platform. If it's good enough for Eddie and Thor, it's good enough for me and it's probably good enough for you too. An entirely rubber surface has so many advantages over plywood in the middle with rubber only on the outsides. Man, I wish I would have thought of this before I built this thing. An entirely rubber platform is way more versatile. An entirely rubber platform makes much better use of your space, much better. On a conventional deadlift platform like this, you're basically limited to traditional barbell exercises such as the deadlift, the squat, cleans, clean and jerks, curls. Essentially, you're just limited to exercises where your feet are staying in the middle of the platform and your weights are staying on the outside of the platform. So let's go through a bunch of specific advantages that an entirely rubber deadlift platform would have over a conventional deadlift platform like this one. Number one, calisthenics. Well, technically, you can do bodyweight exercises such as push-ups, sit-ups, planks, crunches on a plywood top. You're gonna wish that the plywood were rubber, trust me. The plywood is not comfortable to kneel on, to sit on, to lie on, to fall onto, none of it. It just sucks, very uncomfortable. It's too hard. Number two, stretching and foam rolling. Stretching and foam rolling is way more comfortable on rubber than plywood. I don't think I need to explain it to you. Number three, durability. Plywood needs to be baby because it dents easily. Rubber, super durable. It's made for heavy horses wearing heavy horseshoes. Something as simple as unloading iron plates from a barbell is better on rubber because you can drop the plate anywhere on the platform. You probably aren't going to want to swing and heave a kettlebell on plywood because if you set it down or drop it, there's a good chance you're going to ding up the plywood. Do you want to drop your 50 pound dumbbells onto your plywood top? No, of course not. Make it all rubber. You can drop it, not a big deal. You might not plan on dropping your weights, but someday, what if you need to? Number four, sumo deadlifts. Pulling sumo with a wide stance and bare feet with your shoes in the crack between the plywood and the mat feels a little off. An all rubber surface would mean a consistent surface for all varieties of pulls. Number five, hex bar deadlifts. I realize most of you probably don't own a hex bar. Most of you probably never want a hex bar, but what if someday you change your mind and you get one? I know I'd like to get one someday. But it's always nice just to future-proof your gym setup. Most hex bars are shorter, which means your weights would be clanging off the plywood, not the rubber. So, unless you can find a monstrously long trap bar or cover the plywood with even more mats, 
Your platform is probably going to get damaged from a hex bar with iron plates. Number six, if like me, you lift barefoot, you might find that the rubber actually gives you a better grip than the plywood. Now plywood gets super slippery if it's dusty and hey, home gym, it's in my basement. It gets a little dusty down here like always. I like the grip on the rubber better. Even when they're clean, I like the grip on the rubber better than the plywood. It just feels better on my feet. So Corey, are there any drawbacks or catches to an all rubber deadlift platform? Only a few. If you do Olympic lifts, such as the clean and jerk, and you're gonna be competing on plywood, you might want to train on the exact same surface that you're gonna be competing on, just so that everything feels exactly the way you're used to might want to but I don't know if you're even gonna notice a difference and hey if space is limited why not make the best use of it number two plywood is harder than rubber so technically plywood might give you slightly less compression than rubber mats <laughs> but I don't think you're gonna notice a difference in your pulls and if you do maybe you're a freak let me know in the comments if you can actually pull more when your feet are firmly on plywood versus rubber but like we talked about earlier, Half Thorn Eddie pulled 500 kg on rubber. Mm. Number three, aesthetics. Maybe you just love the look of plywood. Maybe you think rubber platforms are lame and they're not cool and they look weak and crossfitty or something. Don't hate, I don't know. Then do plywood. If that's what you love, do it. Or maybe you wanna put cool stickers on there cool paint job, a picture of your grandma, a rah, 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 rah slogan to get you fired up, go for it. Or maybe you only want to pull straight bar conventional forever, never have any friends work out in your gym, and never do any other exercising on the platform. Then you might be happier with a wooden platform. So the plywood isn't necessarily a wrong choice. In my opinion, it's just not the best choice. It's not the most efficient. Look at my space here. I have a squat rack and the deadlift platform, some kids play mats and concrete. Some of your spaces are likely smaller than this. If you're able to get a squat rack and a rubber platform crammed into a room, you're gonna have so many workout options available to you just in that little amount of space. You've made up my mind, Corey. I want a rubber deadlift platform, not one of these things. You sold me. So how do I do it? easy first of all you're a great listener and a genius so congrats on that it's not true of everyone so if you're really cheap or just on a really tight budget and if you're not lifting super heavy weights there is a chance that you'd be fine even without the plywood and just getting some of the stall mats and lifting on that i've seen numerous comments about people doing that on their floors like for years and having no issues but personally I like my house, I like my floors, I'd rather play it safe. And honestly, I've never tested it. And there are a lot of variables in just the strength of concrete, how hard you're slamming down your weights, obviously the amount of weights. And at the end of the day, one or two sheets of 4x8 OSB, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than trying to repair your concrete. To make a rubber platform with wood underneath is super simple to build. Buy one or two sheets of 4x8, three quarter inch thick plywood or OSB, uh, OSB should be much cheaper. Go to your local tractor supply store and buy two three quarter inch thick four by six horse stall mats. Apparently, horses can weigh up to around 2,000 pounds. These bad boys can handle your weights. Do not worry. Don't overpay and get special overpriced exercise branded mats. It's marketing. The stall mats will probably be the best bang for your buck if you have them in your area. Cut both mats to four feet by four feet and drop them on your plywood and the seam will be in the middle. You can cut the mats with a sharp utility knife. Use a straight edge and just keep scoring it until you are all the way through. Put a few screws into them to hold them in place if you wish. You could make this prettier by drilling a countersink hole and using a washer around the screw. Just make sure the hardware is below the surface so you don't cut yourself up on it when you're exercising. You will be left with two leftover two by four foot mats, which you just might be glad to have. That's it. 
The hardest part might just be lugging the mats from the store to your car and from your car into your house. They're heavy. And side note, just be really careful when you're cutting with the utility knife. You can really draw a lot of blood with the utility knife, so be safe. And now, one bonus tip for those of you who have stuck around and decided that you still want to build a conventional deadlift platform with a plywood top, please do not glue anything together. When I was researching how to build this, I saw some comments saying, like, glue the plywood together. And I listened. I glued this top onto the piece underneath like a moron. Now it ticks me off because I would <laughs> really like to be able to remove this top and replace it with rubber. That's probably not going to be an easy job. What a moron I was. The pieces are just sitting on top of each other. Where are they going to go? <laughs> you don't need to glue anything together. Just screw it. You're fine. Then if down the road you want to take it apart, it'd be easy. I'm in my basement here. If I ever want to move this upstairs, I'm basically euchred because, <laughs> first of all, this thing's heavy. It's just, just don't glue it. You don't need to glue it. Why did I glue it? Oh! If you'd like to purchase the barbell that I use or the bench, check out the description for links where you can pick those up. These are great budget pieces of gear, which I would recommend. And I've also thrown in a few other links to some other great pieces of gym equipment that are gonna give you a good bang for your buck, including rubber mats, just in case you can't get these horse stall mats in your area. Amazon does sell some mats, at least at the time I'm recording this video, which um, are gonna be very similar and pretty decent price. So check that out. And that's a wrap. If you liked the video, lightly tap that thumbs up button. If you hated it, smash the thumbs down, subscribe and let me know why in the comments. Go lift heavy, lift hard. Rah, 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 so hard. Go hard, yeah. Lift heavy. Yeah.